Chef Jacks. It's me, Maya Chef Jack, and welcome to another Idea Sunday. Today we'll be working with this daisy and this button I bought in Poland. It has a little bit of sparkles. However, I have to turn on my phone torch because the phone torch makes the subtle glitter particles more visible and sparkly when I use the phone torch to show it on camera especially that I just use my phone for it with maximum of 10 times zoom on the camera I can't go more than 10 on this phone and that's all I use to film there but anyways I hope you can see this really enjoying how the sparkles look on 10 times zoom on my phone and on the torch and how it really magnifies it in real life they're really really tiny but you'll still see them because look at those giant thumb that is compared to the sparkles in this button but anyways we have to come up with something to have an idea Sunday okay so for this episode because Astrid Fizz will have a lychee mallow seafoam bush themed series that would be set in Paris and I kind of want to do something for Paris for the series. Make a baguette card which I would make part of the series. But first I have to pierce holes in the shower gel cap before I can attach wheels to it because that would be on wire and wire needs holes in order for it to come through it so I'm piercing a shower gel cap for it and I will repeat this with the strong needle until I get four of these holes done wire done I will apply wheels after I color the lid a light wooden color before proceeding into giving it wheels raw silk and mellow gold for the shadows and we're coloring the card before it becomes a baguette card kind of a baguette color anyways I want it to look wooden and yet this lid kind of has a baguette shape it's that raw silk color that I wanted kind of like a beige bread color if I know what I mean about the color of it. Now mellow gold to give it a wooden 
color, texture. Done. Now I'm going to draw some lines so it looks like a baguette in a way. Done. Now I add buttons for wheels. Wheels added. Handle for the cart added. Then I've added a frame for a roof to add to the cart. I've even decided to cut that button sparkly parts out so I could use them separately from the button. Just appreciate the beauty of these sparkles embedded into the glitter before I actually use them. Wow. Okay. Now I will explain what we're doing. The biggest part of it is the button. I'm going to make a baguette out of them, like out of this, while the rest would just be decorations. I've even went as far as coloring some of the pieces pink. Okay. So, after all the sparkly pieces have been colored pink, I've glued them to the cord. And I will kind of make it look like the owner of the cord decorated it for a lychee mallow. See foam bush special that they've decided to make in the baguette cart but what about using the daisy as part of the design i'm going to cut it up and use it as flowers like small tiny flowers Okay, so I was going to have flowers, but then looking at the yellow part of the daisy that I've just cut off, if my camera can focus, please focus on this. But in person, it does have that raspberry-like texture. Trying to remove things from the background to make it focus better on it. So, you can see the raspberry texture it's more visible in person rather than on camera because in person if you recolor it pink like a red pink or this rose red it will look like a raspberry however it's yellow and I'm going to kind of make it pink red. But before it can, I have to paint over the yellow base with white. Just so I could remove the yellow. That I can't remove otherwise. That's been painted white. Now we have to let it dry and I have to make the layers watery so 
I'm not going to get rid of the texture, the raspberry-like texture. Because I want to keep it. However, just get rid of the yellow before the raspberry color can come. And those are still drying at the time I filmed this. So when it dries, I'll make them raspberries. I've added some of the flower stickers. Leaves to the baguette cart. And it looks more like a baguette with a little bit of herbs added. And I've decided to add a bit more leaves to the raspberry plant. I did color some of the raspberries, but then I put more cabochons for the raspberries. Now it has to dry. I glued on more petals for more raspberries. However, they have to dry before they can get a raspberry color. However, the transparent lychee mallow seafoam bushes could use an old red branches so they look like it. Because I want that to be still recognizable as the lychee mallow seafoam bushes. So we have to add that in. And that's done. And one of another things I can do right in Maureen Blue baguettes on the card. Done. Okay, so the next step now is to make the roof look a little bit like a picnic blanket we're going to use red markers to do that and I've chosen a scarlet marker it's a really bright orangey red but it's more on the red side so applying okay because I'm thinking of putting the baguette thing and the raspberry thing on the roof as a decoration for it That's what I'm doing. It's like I try to work everything po possible into Idea Sundays and try to make it all work with just random cabochons. I've been notorious for that. But anyway. That's the baguette. It's made out of this button. And the raspberry needs color, but it's ready to be a raspberry. Raspberry done. Time to put it on the roof. Done. Time to let it dry. Raspberry dried. Now 
the baguette will need to be stitched on in order for me to finish this. And that's the finished product of the baguette card. What do you think of it? Please tell me in the comments. And bye Chef Jack, see you in another video.